welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing this look right here it's very neutral the lips are very red it is a combo that I spoke about in my last favorites video I used just natural colors on the eyelids some wispy lashes winged eyeliner and the typical red lips so if you want to know how to create this look keep on watching okay guys so the first thing that I'm going to do before doing anything else is apply um, some primer. This is the La Rock Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. You don't have to do anything fancy smancy. And the reason why I like to um, do my eye makeup before anything is because I do get some fallout on under my eyes, all over my cheeks and stuff like that. So that's the reason why. And if I want to um, clean up some mistakes, I can do that with like a makeup remover or foundation and a, a concealers and I already do have my eyebrows filled I didn't do anything fancy today I just applied some pencil and cleaned it cleaned under with concealer the palette that we're going to be using today is the La Rock La Rock Pro palette and this is the original the original one my old old love mine is very beat up I've had this for years so don't mind that look at that that I'm gonna use a light cream not light cream cream right here and we're going to apply that all over my eyelids and this is a Sonia Kashuk brush just a little fluffy flat brush we're just gonna bring it up to the brow bone so now I'm going to put something a little a little something in the crease and I want to go for like a nice brown tone so I'm gonna go for taupe here taupe is right here and it's like a light brown um, BH cosmetics brush from the rose gold collection I just bought it like two weeks ago and I'm so in love with it although the brushes do shed a little bit. I feel like every time I film, my nails always look so ugly. That's okay. You guys forgive me, right? Put a little bit more. Don't mind the sparkles because of um, some of the shadows breaking and mixed in with the other uh, shadows including the matte ones so it's kind of a mess okay I'm gonna go in with a more dented um, crease brush this is also from the same collection by BH cosmetics and I'm going to be grabbing the shade it is called sable right here Ooh. for some reason I don't know why it's not zooming in we're just gonna start right there and bring it in As you can tell, you're building some drama there, and it looks more harsher. So just keep going back and forth until you get your desired look in your crease. Now I'm just going to go back in with this brush that we used earlier and just blend out the harsh lines. I'm going to go in with the white and I'm going to apply that on the lid. This brush is by Sephora, by the way. Super flat, so... It's going to work well for the lid. And I'm just going to tap that color like that. Alright, like I said, I like my crease to be super dark, so I'm going to go back in my um, palette and I'm going to choose the shade Espresso right here. It's like the second to darkest. It's like a really, really, really dark brown and this is a e.l.f. blending brush. And just follow your crease. Don't bring it in too much. I just want it right here in the middle.
you know, go back in with your blending brush and just make sure everything is nice and smooth. I'm just going to reapply that white on the lid again. Alright, I'm going to use the other side of this brush and I'm going to go in for cream and just apply that to my brow bone. Okay, this is my Kat Von D tiny eyeliner. And I'm just going to tight line like usual. The crease is looking kind of too uh, plain for me, so I'm just going to go back in and just blend it a little bit more. Only grabbed a little bit more of that espresso. Blend, blend, blend. Liquid eyeliner, I'm going to do, kind of try to do a wing. One eyeliner always looks better than the other. Life is so unfair. I'm just going to get my little makeup wipe here and just fix this side because it's a little bit larger than the other one. Okay, we're just going to do a little coat of mascara to prepare for the fake eyelashes. You guys know the routine. I always do this in like every tutorial. I'm going to use these ones. These are super natural they are by kiss you can buy these at walmart you don't want to let it dry for a couple of seconds maybe more more than 30 seconds so i like to slap it in the middle and then grab each end and attach it to their areas Luckily, these lashes perfectly fit the shape, um, the shape of my eyes. And I'm just gonna pinch them. Alrighty. So next, I'm just gonna go over that lash band and go over all that glue to make everything just look um nice. Okay guys, the po top part of my eyes are done. I'm just going to quickly do my face. I am not going to talk through it. Just have fun watching me.
right guys so we're gonna go back to the eyes all I'm going to do is going is I'm going to take this sable um, shadow right here and apply it all over to my lower lash line and then I'm going to be too quick I'm going to quickly apply some mascara to my lower lash line this is just a little detail brush to go under there Same mascara as la earlier. I'm just gonna apply a light coat, nothing fancy here. Just gonna curl my eyelashes. Oh, that was my belly. Am I hungry again? Okay, guys, the eyes are finished. Now we're going to be working on our lips. So, I'm just going to clean my lips here because that chapstick I put on makes my lips feel so weird. And there's some foundation on there too, so. Oh, that feels so much better. Hi, babe, I see you. You see me? Yeah. Oh, I get out of the way. I'm sorry. That's okay. They like seeing you, whoever watches my videos. So, if you guys um, watched my most recent favorites video, I did talk about this lip combo. And it is the Milani Lip Color, Liquid Color in Red Extreme. And the lip liner that I really love using it with is by Flower Cosmetics. You can buy this at Walmart. It's very inexpensive. Well, to me, I think it was on sale. It was $150. And I'm glad that I bought it because it is amazing. Balls, it's so creamy. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And it's in cherry red. And I'm going to use it today to semi line. Well, I'm going to line my lips all the way and I'm going to fill in the corners because I do not want this to bleed, which I don't think it bleeds, but I'm just gonna do it to be safe. So you just wanna follow your lip, but if you want a bigger lip, which I'm not going going for, I'm very happy with my lip size. <laughs> so if you wanna do that, just go over your natural lip line a little bit, just a little bit, because if you go over it a lot, it will look very unnatural, but I'm really satisfied with my lips so I'm just gonna go with my natural lip line oh, I just love this thing No. Alright, so now I'm going to take this and apply it all over my lips. Should I just keep it like this? I think I look beautiful. <laughs> so, looks like that. And I love it. It's so pigmented and smells really good. So... Oh, look at that. It's so freaking beautiful. I'm just going to take a little bit of my foundation and a little uh, flat brush and clean up the bottom here because I made a boo-boo, as you can tell. A little bit. And then I'm going to take this fluffy brush and just buff it out. Be careful though.
Okay guys, that is the final look. I really like it. Um, the eyes are super natural but yet dramatic because of the crease. It's dark. Uh, what the hell? This is on my nose. And the eyelashes, you can tell I'm wearing fake eyelashes, but yet it's very flirty and wispy. I really like that. It complements, I feel like it complements every look, especially when you're wearing a very dramatic lip. And I love this lip color. You guys have to go pick it up. It's Milani liquid color in red extreme. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you've liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!